Wow, man, that was awesome. I was listening to radio and it was fun. But do you love listening to radio? Yep. But do you know how exactly it works? Um, well, it's not my cup of tea, yeah. Let me equip you with some knowledge about how a radio works. Oh. So, here is a block diagram of a radio receiver circuit. Uh, uh, looking at the first component, we have the antenna. It receives the modulated frequency waves from the surrounding. But what are these modulated waves? Okay, I'll come to that. So, uh, as you can see in this, we have in the middle the modulating sine wave signals. So, these are the radio waves which are actually intended to be transmitted. But these are of so low frequency that uh, they are prone to be uh, disrupted by the surrounding frequencies. So, to prevent this, we merge them with high frequency wave, waves. And these waves are called carrier signals and the result of is a frequency modulated signal which is of high frequency and contains the radio signals that we wanted to transmit. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so next in the line is RF amplifier. RF amplifier stands for radio uh, frequency and what it does is it uh, allows a certain bandwidth a certain range of frequencies in the circuit and uh, and also amplifies the signal so that uh, it can be treated in a better way further in the circuit. Now, uh, this amplified and uh, treated uh, bandwidth of signals is then moved to the mixer. Now, as the name suggests, this component superimposes the waves from the amplifier and the oscillator. Now, looking at the oscillator, this is a component uh, to which the input can be given by us. So the input is given in a manner that the, the resultant output that we get is a clear one. Next is the IF amplifier. IF stands for the uh, intermediate frequency amplifier and its job is same as of, uh, as, uh, of the RF amplifier and, uh, and just the difference is uh, it takes the uh, input from the mixer and and amplifies it, filters it and provides it to the demodulator. Now next the signal moves to demodulator. It's an important component of this circuit. It removes the carrier signal uh, signals from the modulated wave and it gives us the audio signals which we really wanted to get and it moves them to the next component. Next is, uh, next is the AF amplifier. Uh, what it does is it amplifies the audio signals after everything is done to, uh, uh, to better the quality of the audio signals, may it be modulation or the amplification. And then these uh, signals are, are passed to the speaker uh, which we, uh, uh, and which we hear. So now, uh, we are looking at the circuit diagram of this radio receiver circuit. So now look at the first component which is circuit. This uh, we are so look at the antenna. It receives the frequencies as I already mentioned. So these frequencies now are taken to this LC circuit. Uh, as you can see there is a capacitor and an inductor which are in series. So this uh, component acts as a filter and it allows frequencies of certain bandwidth and it restricts the other frequencies. So these frequencies now move to the amplifier. Now this amplifier amplifies them and moves them to the next component. Uh, in the next circle we have the transistor which acts as the amplifier for the previous signals as uh, Ayush has told you and next is the capacitor. Its main job is uh, to stop the DC which was used in biasing the transistor in a previous stage and also uh, it and, and, and also it corrects the noise, it removes the noise and then pass it on to the next element. So now the signal goes to the next component here. You can see a resistor 
which is variable and it's connected to an op amp the function of op amp is uh, to amplify the signals now as you can see the resistance here is variable so we can control the potential difference across the op amp by plugging into the rheostat at different places so actually we can control the output at the other end of the op amp by this rheostat uh, in the next circle we have two capacitors whose main job is to uh, treat uh, all those signals and uh, and make the signals rid of all the noises uh, which were left after all the uh, modulations and all the uh, circuit things and and next these uh, signals are passed on to the uh, speaker uh, from which we hear the uh, the songs and musics and uh, obviously all the symbols have the usual meanings well ma'am that was cool but i really wanted to know that how i can tune to my radio to 93.5 fm you would just wait i'm coming to that yeah so the part of uh, controlling the input signals is controlled by this part now here as i've already told you this is the lc part and it contains an inductor and capacitor in series but the interesting fact here is that the capacitor is variable now when you actually tune into a station you uh, you turn the knob but in that process you actually change the capacitance of the circuit by changing the capacitance you change the natural frequency which in turns uh, changes the bandwidth of the frequency that we are getting uh, we are looking at a graph of the power versus frequency of the waves that are passed by this filter now f not corresponds to the natural frequency which is uh, equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc and uh, by changing the value of the capacitor we can change this natural frequency and so this bandwidth can be shifted so now suppose you want to hear to 93.5 megahertz so i'll change the capacitance value so that the natural frequency is set near by this 93.5 megahertz value so now the frequency that we get from this filter are in this region only and we can tune in to the station thanks for watching guys shine on